Hi, welcome back. We need more toys, so let's make a xylophone and a blackboard with an abacus. First up, the xylophone. Grab a clean and empty beverage can and cut off the top and bottom. Split it down one side and flatten it out. You can usually cut these cans with a sturdy pair of scissors. This can was from an energy drink, but I also have beer and soda cans in my stash, so no judgment from me on your choice of beverage. Give it a light sanding all over so the glue and paint will stick better later on. Roll up and cut a long skinny strip of the metal, but be careful not to cut yourself. Sand off the sharp edges, this makes the metal strip much safer to handle and smooths off any little snags and jagged edges. I decided it was still too fat, so I trimmed it. Using the flat end of my oil, I smoothed out the strip to get it nice and flat. I split an old off cut of scrap balsa wood to use for the base of the xylophone and using masking tape held the tiny pieces in place while I measured up and cut the metal strips to go on top. You want each strip to be slightly longer than the last one, starting off of course with the shortest one.
I glued the metal strips in place with super glue. Leave a small gap between each strip. Sand a toothpick until it's thin enough to fit inside a large seed bed. We're making the little drumstick thingies here. Notice I'm hanging on to the bits so they don't ping off to oblivion when I cut them. Give the ends a quick tidy up with sandpaper and glue the beads on. If your metal bars look too long still or have crooked ends, just give them a trim. Since this is for a children's room, I thought bright colours would suit best, so I painted rainbow colours on the metal bars. Leave them to dry thoroughly. Some colours need more than one coat. Now for the blackboard with abacus. I cut the panel for the blackboard from a wide craft stick and the frame from coffee stir sticks. Yep, still using my broken angle cutters. When working with wood, always tidy any cut edges with sandpaper, it makes for a better finish.
you can see here that I split the coffee stir stick lengthways just to make it a little narrower and to give one side a less rounded edge. Some stir sticks come with flat edges but these ones are rounded. Cut two long side pieces for the frame and three short cross members. Paint the blackboard black. I just use normal acrylic paint. Now for working out the abacus part. I was totally winging it. I knew I wanted three bars of beads and I thought the best way to hold them in place would be to poke holes in the sides of the frame to glue and insert the wires into. I'm using craft wire, I'm not sure of the gauge, it was just lurking in my stash of supplies and it looked about right. Now to try and figure out how I'm going to put all this together. Dry fitting the pieces like this helped me to decide which order to work in.
As you can see, I added a drop of super glue to the end of the wire before inserting it into the hole. This side was certainly easier than the other side. I have cut the wires too long on purpose, so I could trim them to the right length for later on. Wires are all trimmed now and the glue is all set so I'm poking the holes in the other side of the frame for the wires to insert into and adding the beads. I used small seed beads. It would be great to be an octopus right now, an extra set of hands or three would be so useful to hold everything in place while I glued the other side on. All it needs now is some writing on the board and a tiny piece of toothpick painted white to be the chalk. Perfect. If you've enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads and leave a comment because I'd love to hear from you. It really helps my channel to grow. If you want to share your own crafty ideas and projects join my Facebook page called Nessie Monster Crafts. And we have Fun Day Fridays where we can all show off our latest works in progress. If you can afford it, please consider buying me a coffee. Links for both my Facebook group and coffee account are in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!